Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another Minecraft console client tutorial. Bet you guys didn't think I'd be doing one of these ever again. Well, if you look back in the channel, you'd see I've done these before, specifically for uh, Skyblock type servers. However, you don't have to just do it on a Skyblock kind of a server. You can do it on any old server. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you, give you the files that I have here uh, so that you don't have to do some of the work that I had to do. Uh, but first things first, this console client is based off of Aurelio. So if you go to Aurelio's website, you can get the latest version of the Minecraft client.exe, which you will need to download if you do intend to do this. Or you can go to my Discord server, link in the description below, and pop it up on the screen there. And I have it, in, I will have it attached. Uh, once this video goes live. Now, what is this going to allow us to do? It's going to allow us to AFK on a server without using this guy. Why do we want to do that? Well, this guy uses up a lot of memory. It's going to burn your, your computer, burn your video card, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to make it more difficult to do other things. So what you do is you load up this guy right here and it's just going to load a DOS prompt. See this guy right here? And that is going to run the, it's not a DOS prompt, but it looks like a DOS prompt. And that's going to run the file for you, uh, run a Minecraft instance for you um, standing in place. Uh, but there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of before you do so. First things first, what you're going to need to do uh, when you get these files, you're going to open accounts.bat. We're already going to have this in here. We're already going to have this in here. You're going to put in your username, which is probably going to be an email address, your password, and then what you connect, what you use to connect to your Minecraft server. The only there, There's a few things that we're going to make some changes on. Uh, so, uh, of course, if you download my files, you don't have to do this now. But if you have your own console client stuff set up and you don't want to uh, overwrite it with all of my stuff, then by all means, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through it real quick. So when you open up altlatch.ini, um, it's gonna look exactly the same as minecraftclient.ini. Uh, you may not have to do both of these, uh, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Do not use latest release. Uh, latest release or auto are options, but what you're gonna want to do is change it to the exact version your your the server is. If the server is 1.16, you can't have this point one. 1.6.1, uh, obviously, you want 1.16.1. There's one other thing in here that's kind of important to note, and this is going to be up to your uh, choice. So terrain and movements, I have mine set to false. What this means is if you want your guy to be moved around in water, or if you want him to be able to pick up items that drop, you want this set to true. You want this set to true. I did not need that. So I have it set to false because why on earth would I want to use more RAM, CPU, and bandwidth? There are other things that you can do in here, but for now, that's all I'm really all that concerned about. We're going to close that, and this right here is going to be exactly the same. Whatever you change in that one, you should change here. Do, you do not need to put your login and password here, though. Uh, that's done in with accounts.bat. Here you can go. You can see terrain movements are set to false. Um, and the MC version is set to 1.16.1. One other thing that's going to be very dependent on you are these kick messages. So the server that I'm currently playing on, that I'm using this on, unfortunately does not have a server being closed message, but most servers, when they do a daily reset, do. So you got to make sure you see what that is and you want to add it to this list. It needs to be on its own line. So if it's like server reboot, Make sure it's on its own line or rebooting now or, or whatever the, the terminology is. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and add that. Uh, my server, unfortunately, like I said, the server I'm playing on does not have that, but I think it will eventually, in which case once I add this, it will automatically reconnect uh, once, once that happens. Uh, and you can change the timing on that automatic reconnect inside of here if you wish. Let's see, where is it? Auto relog right here. So it's actually going to pull the kick messages file uh, from the kick messages dot text. It's going to wait 60 seconds and then it's going to relog. It's going to relog uh, and it's going to try to relog four times. You can change this if you wish, but probably not a good idea. 
Um, the only other thing we have left to do now is go take a look at it. So I'm going to hop on and we're going to go take a look at ourselves in the, uh, oops, wrong folder, in the map. Here we go. Logging in. I will see you guys on the server. There's that handsome devil. Look at him. Look at that handsome little guy. So one thing that the console client does is it points your head down. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Point your head down before you turn the console client on because it's going to maintain your angle that you had before you left. And just to be on the safe side, you don't want to be looking at uh, Enderman. You can die in console client uh, while you can't. So if, if mobs hit you, whoops, I clicked into him. Don't do that. If mobs hit you, uh, they are going to uh, they're going to kill you. So keep that in mind. Um, and I think I think that's gonna be it. I think I went over everything that's important. Once again, I have the information. Uh, all the files are going to be attached in my Discord server. Uh, when you join, you need to be there for a few minutes before it will let you access it. Uh, but it will be there. It will be in the hashtag files, or maybe other files. I can't remember what I called it. Um, and um, and then Bob is your uncle. And if you liked what you saw, if you if I was helping you, uh, please, by all means, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I try to do a lot of content kind of like this. Uh, maybe sometimes it might be modded Minecraft. Sometimes it might be something else. Uh, but I do I do what I can to help the community. So help me out. Help me help you. Help me help you. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and as always, take it easy.